Is my printer trying to print or is she going to sleep? The power button's blinking. I hope it doesn't think it has to print anything. Oh my god, the printer keeps making noise and it's scaring me. Should I turn that off? I'm gonna turn it off because it sounds like it's trying to print something. Stop. Quit. Alright. Is that not how you turn a printer off? You think you press a button once and it turns off. Okay. What's up everyone, Alex here, and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Uh, different format, different, not a different location, just a different perspective. I will work on making it much better because I hate that you can see this part of the desk and the little bit of chair right there, which I can't move out of the way unless I bring it all the way out. Uh, because I have an L-shaped desk, um, but I do like that I can tap on this desk and hit this desk and it's not picking up on the mic because I have the mic right here. So it's a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. The lighting still needs a little bit of work. Um, and <laughs> autofocus is really confused probably because I'm not lit as well as I could be. Um, but I am... I'm work, it's a work in progress. We're all works in progress. I wanted to talk about the history of Maverick, but... This is kind of a revisiting of what I already talked about. Um, I wanted to do a slightly more extensive video because I think that my brain wants to get information out there so quickly that I'm making these like short videos, which are, you know, easy to digest, easy to understand, but I don't have enough of the information. And I think I need to take it back and start doing uh, like longer form videos, not like entire video essays, but you know, more researched videos, well-researched videos. So in the 19th century, there was a politician and rancher, what a combination, named Samuel Maverick. And he was notorious for not branding his cattle. He had unbranded cattle that were called Maverick's cows, or just Mavericks. At some point, people decided that these cows were called Mavericks. They were not branded. They were unorthodox, independent, not belonging to any governing body of anything. They were just kind of their own thing. Uh, according to Samuel Maverick, he did this because he didn't want to inflict pain on his cows, uh, which is super cool of him. I don't know anything else about his like politics or anything, but... He at least didn't want to inflict pain on his cows. But a lot of people kind of assume that maybe he was doing this because he could just claim unbranded cattle as his own. Um, hasn't really been proven either way, uh, but that was the rumor and that's what people assumed about him. Um, but at some point in 1867, specifically, uh, people started to use Maverick to mean an independently minded person or in the realm of unorthodoxy, ra whether it was your politics or just the way that you viewed things, the way that you acted, your role in society was something unorthodox, uh, something against the norms. You were called a maverick. Um, maverick is an adjective and a noun. So you can be a maverick person. You can also be a maverick. So as a noun, maverick means a lone dissenter, such as an intellectual, an artist, or a politician who takes an independent stand apart from their peers. And an example sentence would be, his unusual techniques made him a maverick of modern dance. It also means a person pursuing rebellious, even potentially disruptive, policies or ideas. And the example sentence, sentence given here is you can't muzzle a maverick, which I like. It goes back to that animality of individualism, unorthodoxy, going against the norms. As an adjective, it just means unorthodox, unconventional, or nonconformist. And the example sentence here, she had a reputation as a maverick fiscal conservative willing to raise taxes. So fun fact, maverick is Welsh in origin as a last name, and it comes from Marike, which is valiant hero. And I find that to be very interesting because my name is based on the Greek word 
or the Greek name Alexander, which is a like a hero of men. And I, I thought that was very interesting. Um, but Valiant Hero also, like, Maverick is just a really heroic last name. It A lot of really interesting characters in media usually have Maverick as a last name. Uh, so I like that. And another random fact, uh, Samuel Maverick's grandson coined the term gobbledygook. I don't even know if that's like an okay word because I think it's been used uh, not in a nice way. But uh, that was just some random stuff I found while I was researching this. So in 2014, somebody by the name of Vesper H on Tumblr coined the term maverick. It is a combination of that old term maverick and the eek suffix from French to mean like a maverick. It basically means like a maverick. So maverick as an adjective, a non-binary gender characterized by autonomy and inner conviction of gender, which is unorthodox, unconventional, and entirely independent of concepts of gender. So it sits outside of the typical categorization of gender. More in depth here, maverick is not the absence of gender or an apathetic feeling towards gender, but a present feeling of gender outside of male, female, masculine, feminine, neutrality, and anything in between them. It is also not genderless. It is a very strong gendered feeling. Um, a lot of genders that sit outside, far outside of the binary, outside of neutrality, uh, does include genderlessness. It does include gender apathy or even things like gender queer. Maverick is an autonomous gender. So A U I N O N gender, autonomous in nature gender. Uh, so it is a strong feeling of gender outside of conventional restrictions of gender. And, you know, being maverick like a maverick, it kind of hits home the non-conforming but involuntary nature of the identity. Um, the purpose of the eek suffix is to say like, I am like this concept of being a lone dissenter, of being individually minded, of being unorthodox against gender norms, against political norms, everything, but it is not a conscious choice. There's a lot of terms gender queer, things like that, gender punk, where it is a voluntary disruption of gender concepts. Uh, this is an involuntary gender that you experience as being outside of the norm. It is very, very similar, at least when you see it from the outside, as uh, gender maverick, one word. Um, I could only find... I think it was a Portuguese gender fandom page, um, and it is a voluntary, sort of like gender punk. It is a voluntary disruption or dissension from the gender binary. So it is basically just flipping the gender binary on its head, throwing it out, being like, no, that's not me. I'm not about that. I'm going to combat this as a construct. So the key nature of the Maverick identity is its unbrandedness, its inability to be branded by any sort of governance, any sort of construct, no restrictions, nothing can brand this as anything. The person brands themselves, the person labels themselves, and they have full control over how gender works for them. It does not fit into anyone else's idea of what a gender might be. That unbrandedness is where it goes back to the unbranded cattle that Mr. Samuel Maverick had. So there is a sort of a connection between the unbranded Mavericks known as the cattle that are unbranded and the unbranded Mavericks that are known as Mavericks. And just a little additional information, uh, categories that Maverick falls under, obviously it falls under the non-binary category, the overarching not fully male, not fully female identity. It encompasses such a wide array of identities, um, not fully related to male or female, but may have identities like demiboy, 
being partially related to male but still a non-binary identity. It is also an abinary identity that is a more specific term under the non-binary umbrella. It has no connections to the gender binary. So the non-binary flag over here has the purple stripe. It is between the binary, related to the binary, that's what that stripe is supposed to be for. A binary is more like that yellow stripe. You can't even see me pointing. <laughs> but the yellow stripe is more of the a binary nature of non-binary identities, where they are not at all related to the gender binary. There's absolutely no connection partially, fractionally. Maverick is also an apparin gender. Apparin is a gender quality related to apora genders and anything similar, and it means that you are neither male nor female or anything in between, but you have a strong sense of, you still have a gendered sense of self. There's still a gendered feeling. So genderlessness doesn't fit into a poor gender, but neutrality does. That is the difference. Um, so a binary is not at all related to the binary. It can include a gender. We're kind of moving down the list more, you know, broader and then more specific. Obviously, you don't have to call yourself all of these labels if you're calling yourself Maverick. It's kind of moving down the tree of life where you have like your kingdom phylum class all the way to species, subspecies. Uh, that's kind of what these labels are acting as. The broader categories with smaller categories under, underneath them, they might branch, they might overlap, uh, but it does eventually get down to the minuscule, and that's where you get the gender quality of Maverin. And Maverin is a gender quality related to Maverick and any similar autonomous genders. So Maverick is the big one, but there's a lot of autonomous genders, Owen genders, that fall under Maverin as well. Um, you have trans Maverin. Uh, any one of these can have like a transgender label. Um, it doesn't always have to do with transitioning. Sometimes it, it has more to do with alignment or uh, move, having a connection to that gender quality. So trans masculine being like you are either transitioning toward masculinity or you have a connection to masculinity. Trans Maverin would mean that you are connected to Maverinity in some way. Um, that ties back to my identity as being Trans Maverin. Um, I'm not necessarily trying to transition in a way that looks Maverick. Um, there isn't really a look for uh, Maverin genders. Uh, no genders really have a look. Uh, but this gender quality is entirely based on autonomy. So I could be masculine, feminine. I could have a, an androgynous appearance. Uh, my presentation can be any combination of things or specific things with a specific look, uh, but I consider it all Maverin because it's my identity. I consider myself trans Maverin because of that autonomous decision, decision, that autonomous nature of my identity falling outside of the norm. So that's pretty much it. The history of Maverick. Uh, a lot of terms like this have some very interesting, uh, very interesting choice of etymology, a very interesting choice of just where the person's coming from when they are coming up with uh, new words like this. Um, it has been 10 years since Maverick has been coined, and I'm astounded at how new, how revolutionary, and different this word is, and also how prevalent it is. Like, I can, I can find products with the Maverick flag on it. I like that. I can I can find the Maverick flag like everywhere. It's just it's niche, but it's very well known. Um, and I love finding terms like this that have interesting and intricate backstories. Like this person saw the idea of Maverick as an outsider, as a dissenter, as an independently minded person, and thought that that was a really cool way to describe a gender identity, a gender experience. 
So um, shout out to Vesper H. Um, I believe the username is queer as cat, one word. I love Maverick. I love that Maverick is based on its own idea and Maverick itself is the basis of other ideas. And I hope to see gender terms evolve and branch out like this more often. Um, I love when they do that. That is pretty much it. Uh, that's what I got for you. It was very weird standing here, um, but it doesn't feel much different than sitting down, just that I can let out more energy. Anyway, thank you for watching. I am going to leave some links in the description um, all about Maverick, the first, very first coining post of Maverick, or at least the earliest coining post that I can find um, of Maverick and the person who coined it, some other resources, other blogs, and um, I guess the page for Trans Mavrinity, if you want to take a look at that, um, to like check that term out and everything. Um, but that's pretty much it, and I'm signing off for now. See you later. <laughs>